Hey guys, I'm here with the uh, DFW Eastgate Alliance with a Eastgate 101 session for you. Right now I'm going to go over basic foot position and stance. This is mainly for the people who are interested in Eastgate that haven't stepped on board at all or just haven't ridden in a while or just don't know too much about Eastgate. Um, before we start off, let's talk about safety here. All right, I push this all the time. I know there are some people that skate, that do kick flips, drops, and all that stuff that don't wear gear and they're okay. East skate's a little bit different. You're going a lot faster and there's a lot more involved. So wear your safety gear. Knee pads, elbow pads, gloves, wrist guards if you have them, and of course the helmet at minimal. Okay, it doesn't matter what it is. Heck, you can duct tape two pillows to the back of your head and the front. It doesn't matter. Protect your noggin. Right now, there's a lot of uh, different ways to ride. I'm gonna show you one way. One way that I've done, one way that I practice over and over again personally, and I'm just gonna show you this. There are other ways. You're free to learn those, but since you're on this video, you're gonna learn my way, all right? First off, we're gonna use my Metro Board X right here. And of course, you can use any board you get. I highly recommend this. This is one of my first board. It's an awesome board. Um, one thing I always recommend people do is turn on their board. Don't get on it quite yet but test out the throttle of your remote. Get the feel for it, know what it can do. All right, so we'll see what this thing does when it jams forward. Okay, so it flies, it leaves skid marks. Okay, so you know that already. Let's go over throttle control. So this is very important. The throttle is what basically makes the board go and stop. How much, how fast, how hard is dictated by how much you manipulate that throttle here. In this case, it's a thumb scroll, okay? When you get on it, you wanna ease on it, okay? So of course, this one's forward to go forward, right? So you wanna ease very slowly on it. And these are, things are very light. There's hardly any resistance. So you wanna ease forward slowly. Now, if you jam it forward all the way, you're gonna go full speed, okay? But since we're learning, you wanna go easy. So we'll start slowly and move forward. Just act like you have my your thumb on my finger here. Just feel it. Just move it slowly forward. And then we're not gonna let off it. What we're gonna do is we're gonna ease off the throttle here, very slowly. When you start this, you wanna do everything slowly. You wanna take your time. You wanna do precise and intentional movements. You don't wanna be random and throwing shit around, okay? We're all control. We know what the board can do. So what's next? Foot position, okay? Most people, when they get on the board, they'll, uh, gauge it with their shoe. They'll get their shoe on the board evenly. That's what most people do. I personally don't do this. What I do is I will have my my toes kind of hang off the edge here. Reason being is if you look at my foot here, the main parts that are touching the board that will push the board are the heel, the actual heel, and the ball of my feet. My toes don't really push on the board. They support the board or support my feet on the board, but they're not physically pushing down on it, not all five toes. It's the ball of foot that they're connected to. So I try to get that evenly on the center axis of the board best I can. That way I can get an even turn on the board there. Next is the stance. So what I'm gonna teach you right now is called the neutral stance. There's not really a real term to it, it's just something I pulled out of my ass, but it's for explanation purposes. Um, basically, my feet are parallel to each other and perpendicular to the board, okay? This allows me to turn with ease, heel side, toe side, either way. And the purpose of stance would be for low speed or deep carving. It just depends on what you wanna do, okay? So for the purpose of the beginning, we're gonna start with a neutral stance. Now you also want it a little bit more in the shoulder width apart. When most people get that never escaped before, they'll get on there with a little bit of width, but their feet are still narrow on the board there, and that's not really good, because remember, these e-boards, they accelerate, they break, you gotta compensate them for that. And if you have a narrow base, it's gonna make it difficult to uh, control that and to stay on the board. So I like to use up all the deck, and with the Metro board here, the cool thing about it is it has these one inch drops right here at the front and rear. It helps me kind of lock my feet in position. There's not, um, not all the boards have it, but I like to take advantage of this since it's there. I know we all paid for that to stuff, right? So I kind of, and I can't tell you how many times that thing saved my butt when I hit a rough patch, my foot tried to go fly forward. 
that little that little stop right there saves me a lot. It's a good marker. I don't like to look at my feet when I'm on my board. I like to have my eyes up and on the path. I can't be looking down my feet while I'm going full send because you know there's pothole, there's bumps, whatever. So now that we covered that, acceleration. This is where I see people kind of get scared at. So when we start with the propulsion, here's how you compensate it because the board's gonna go that way in Newton's law, you know. What remains at rest, what stays at rest, remains at rest, and you know, etc. So, when the board's going, my body has to go with it. So, like I said, most people will have a kind of narrow stance and the board will come out from under them. You don't want that. So, to compensate for that, what I recommend doing is that lead foot um, bend it, but also keep the back foot straight. So, I'll show you what I mean. So, back, back leg is straight, front knee, bend it. Okay, see that? It does two things. It drops my weight forward onto that front truck and helps me brace on that back leg. So when I accelerate, I don't have that little jolt of falling back, okay? So let me show you what it looks like. We're just gonna go. See that? My weight's forward and it goes with the board. Now, don't reverse like I did. I've done this a couple of times. Master going forward before you start going in reverse. Not all boards can go in reverse, the metric board does, but for now, focus on going forward. So I'm gonna show you that again. So again, lead leg, bend the knee, keep that back leg straight, and then go. See that? Now let's see if I can do this wrong. It's been a while. So I'm gonna be even on both feet. So kind of see how my shoulders kind of went, went uh, had a lag in it. So again, just even stance. There you go. So one more time with the proper way I do it. Bend that front knee, straighten that back foot or back leg, and then go. See how everything just went. So that's basically the gist of it. Now as far as braking, you kind of want to do the opposite. So braking, and this has to be timing with the throttle. You got to know what you're doing, so pay attention. You'll want to do the opposite. Straighten that front leg, then that back leg. So I'll show you here. Actually, move back up. So we're gonna accelerate, and then we're gonna break. So you always want full control of the board there. Okay. Let me do that again. So we're gonna accelerate, and then we're gonna break like that. And this whole time, I'm using smooth throttle control. So again, with throttle control, accelerate, ease back, and then brake. And that's it. So you always want to start very, very small. And also, I know there's a lot of talk about speed and you know how fast people can go on their electric skateboards. Well, like like it's been said, no one cares how fast you go off on your electric skateboard. Okay. Um, never, never try to go fast. What you should always focus on is just the fundamentals, okay? You'll naturally get faster the more you ride, the more you practice, okay? Speed will come naturally, so don't worry, as long as you apply yourself. And that's pretty much it for the lesson here. If y'all have any questions, leave it in the comments. You can send me a message. We also have Instagram, DFW eSkate Alliance, and we do have Discord and Facebook, so. Feel free to join us on that, ask some questions. Like, I'll, I'll be pretty responsive about that. Um, the other thing I'll leave you off on, the fact that you're on this, trying to learn this stuff, means you're doing something new, okay? Doing something new isn't always the easiest thing, okay? It can get intimidating if you were like me, I had bad social anxiety. Group rides, like it looks cool and all, but you can't have a group ride if you don't show up to that, okay? So most people, will talk themselves out of it. They're like, oh, I don't think I'm fast enough. I don't think I can make the whole ride. What I like to say about that is show up. Make them tell you no, okay? Because the worst thing you can do is tell yourself no. Show up, make them tell you no. Which majority of the time they won't. If it's a good group, they'll help build you up, okay? The Eastgate community is a really cool community. It's one it's why I'm so passionate about it. It's why I'm why I've grown this group in Dallas will work. Everyone is cool, everyone wants to help you become a better rider, okay? Don't talk yourself out of it. Just get yourself a helmet, get your board, practice the fundamentals. Uh, I always like to say, 
practice to the point where you can get up to 15 miles an hour. That is a good starting area. It may seem fast at first, but the more you do it, and like I said, naturally you get faster, and it'll just be, be like a cruising speed for you. All right, no one is born to this talented and awesome. It takes time, it took me time. I mean, I've got 2,500 miles under my belt, so I mean, I've got my practice in. But basically what I'm leaving off is, make them say no, make them tell you no, don't tell yourself no. Just get out there and do it.